uh, Turd here with another basic tutorial, and this one's going to be on uh, making a coin in Blender, just a basic coin. Okay, so delete the default cube by hitting delete, and hit spacebar add mesh circle. Now put down the vertices to 20 and hit fill right there. Press OK. Now you got the circle. Uh, rotate your view. Hit tab to go into edit mode and E extrude region. Pull it up for the thickness you want. And also you want to select all of it by hitting A. When it's all selected hit U unwrap. Okay now we're just gonna select actually first we're gonna go into uh, up to the top uh, and split the screen. So split screen. Now go to this box and go to UV Imaging Editor. Now that it's unwrapped, we're gonna find an image of a coin for the faces. Uh, any image will do. Just search on YouTube for that. There's some there. Then go to uh, Image, Open, and I have it right here. Open the image. And now, I don't know if that's a real coin, um, but yeah. Okay. Now, we don't want to unwrap the whole thing at once. Just do the faces at one time. So go back to this view, and or just keep it in mode, but um, hit uh, A to deselect it, and drag it with B uh, just to select the top faces right there. And then hit U unwrap. Okay, now once you got a circle proportion kind of thing here, uh, you want to hit A to select it and then size it down, grab it with G, size it down with S, and grab it with G, and uh, get it to the right pretty much exact size of the coin. Also go over here to this box and um, go to texture so you can see what it looks like and that looks pretty good. It might be a little bit off, but okay. Then you want to go off of that and deselect it by pressing A and just do the same thing for the bottom. Select all the bottom faces, hit U unwrap, and go to the back of it and size it down too. So now you got the front and the back of it. Now that's pretty good, except for the middle vertices kind of have faces all along them. So um, if you want to change that, you can just uh, select all of those. And then um, just either size it down and put it into like a black area. So then it would look like just an edge of a coin. Or you can size it down and get a gray part, which would probably look a little bit better. Like that for the coin. That looks okay. Or you can get a whole different texture, but I don't want to get another texture. This is good enough. Okay. So once you got the coin, with two faces, uh, you want to put the actual texture on for rendering. So go down to shading, the shading tab, add new. Go to the t uh, texture buttons right here. Go to add new. And texture would just be an image. Go to the texture type. Load, it should be right here. And go back into the shading tab. Go to map input and go to UV for the calculations. And go to map to, go to NOR. And you can put up this to make it stand out more if you want. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. Um, but it doesn't work in the game engine. 
so just keep that in mind. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you can try rendering this. Make sure your camera is in the right place. Also, you might want to rotate it to get a better view of it. Okay. I'm just going to render this. So that looks like it has a little bit too much uh, normal because it's pretty bumpy. But you get the point. You can turn down that like that much. Render it. That looks better. And uh, this is a pretty good way of doing it. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So that's the coin right there. If you want to see the back, you can rotate it and render that. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it for the coin thing. And uh, just remember, check out Drowning Bodacious's uh, video channel on YouTube. Drowning Bodacious. Drowning Bodacious. Okay, I gotta check that out.